good day to you, and welcome to Aristocards, featuring the finest in tabletop card gaming. Ladies and gentlemen, Strixhaven is upon us, and with every set, we like to evaluate the new legendary creatures that come out as potential commanders, and there is one in particular that has caught my fancy. Killian, Ink Duelist. For white, black, it is a 2-2 legendary creature, Human Warlock. It has lifelink. And he has Menace. Spells you cast that target a creature cost two generic less to cast. Now, unfortunately, I have seen since the announcement of this character some pieces of advice out there that I would not wholeheartedly agree with. In these episodes of The Internet is Wrong, I attempt to course correct. For example, we see over on the website EDH Rec a number of the cards that are already being suggested, and I don't like the path that it is being sent down. Now, the most important part of this card, its utility, lies in its third ability there, where it says spells you cast that target a creature cost two generic less to cast. But I believe what is tripping up many Magic the Gathering players out there is the addition of the abilities of Lifelink and Menace. They are trying to get all of those abilities to work well together. This is causing most commoners out there to suggest Auras, cards that will attempt to uh, what we call the Voltron mechanic, where you put a bunch of cards on a single creature and have it swing in for a lot of damage in a few strokes. The fact is that if you try to use an enchantment on Killian, you try to use an aura on him, if your opponent has targeted removal, they have now gotten a two for one. They have removed your creature from the board and they have prevented the aura from going on it. Therefore, you lost two cards and they only lost one. This will forever be the problem with Voltron. The only legendary creature that even comes close to doing the job is Uril, the Mist Stalker. There has yet to be any other commander out there that is better for Voltron. And until there is an objectively better card, stop making Voltron try to work. Let's make this simple. If we completely black out the fact that Killian has lifelink and menace, now we are free to focus on his strengths. Killian excels at one of the most important card types in Commander in the year 2021, and that is targeted removal, specifically instant speed. He is in fact truly exciting indeed as a commander because he makes many of these targeted removal spells that were previously too expensive more realistic. For example, cards that destroy creatures such as Bake Into Pie, Curtain's Call, and Murderous Rider, which may have been too expensive before, now have realistic and more reasonable casting costs with Killian on the board. And one of the ways in which Black has pushed the envelope in recent years is its increased ability to exile creatures. Cards such as Baleful Mastery, Crib Swap, Eat to Extinction, Feed the Serpent, Hour of Glory, and Vraska's Contempt are excellent cards. However, with most of them costing 3 to 4 CMC, that is very difficult in order to keep that mana up during your opponent's turns. But if we only have to keep up 1 or 2 mana during our opponent's turns, ah, now that changes the game. But Killian has even more utility beyond simply targeting creatures. For example, allow for us to examine the cards of Crush Contraband and Hilliard's Intervention, which do allow for us to target multiple artifacts and or enchantments. Now, if any of those targets also happen to be a creature, well, then we get to reduce the casting cost by that too generic. The card Wretched Confluence was unfortunately one of the worst in the Confluence cycle, but Killian's ability to potentially reduce its cost by two now gives us calls to turn our heads. As long as we use the second mode on the card once, where it says target creature gets minus two minus two until end of turn, then the other abilities on there, such as target player draws a card and loses one life, and returning target creature card from your graveyard to your hand, that gets to piggyback off of that reduced cost. Now, while we do want to run mostly instants, there are a few sorceries that I do believe get particular value off of Killian. 
For example, Yogmoth's Vile Offering, which says, put up to one target creature or planeswalker card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control, and destroy up to one target creature or planeswalker. Now, for 5 CMC, this is a bit overcosted, but if we do it for only 2, and we get a reanimate style effect, and we get to destroy a creature or planeswalker with it, now this is potentially a bargain. Next, we have a card called Hex, which for 4 black black states to destroy 6 target creatures. Now, for 6 mana, this is overcosted, but if we can reduce it and it only costs two black black well that is the same cost as a damnation and now is much more appealing there is the drawback that we do need to be able to target six creatures when we cast the spell so there needs to be six on the board that we want to get rid of but uh at least if an opponent happens to remove one of the targets the spell at least does not fizzle and will still hit all of the other targets now yes i know i just went on about not using auras in this deck but i do believe believe that there are some good auras to use, more specifically the ones that will target your opponent's creatures and hinder their commanders. Darksteel Mutation and Reprobation will turn off all of the ability text of your opponent's commanders, which in many cases can be even better than trying to destroy or exile them, where they could simply play them again from the command zone. This puts them out of commission on the board. The point here, commoners, is that with Killian, if we are reducing the casting costs of these other cards, we can use that mana towards our other things, which makes Killian quite versatile. For example, let's say I have in my hand a great card such as Siphon Mind, one of my favorite cards, and I have an Eat to Extinction. Now, I want to play Siphon Mind in order to draw some cards, but I also want to keep up the mana to potentially deal with an opponent's threat, a, potentially a creature or planeswalker hitting the board that could allow them to combo off. But in order to play both, I need eight mana in theory. Let's say I need eight swamps on my board in order to do this, which is quite a lot. But with Killian on the board, now I only need six mana in order to accomplish this same strategy and therefore is a lot more viable. In essence, from here, you could take Killian and adapt him to a number of different strategies that you have to win the game in the colors of black and white. But there's one card in particular that set me off on the idea of a particular archetype. Cruel Revival. For four and a black, it's an instant. Destroy target non-zombie creature. It can't be regenerated. Return up to one target zombie card from your graveyard to your hand. Now, at 5 CMC, this is certainly overcosted for Commander. However, for only 3 CMC, now this is somewhat playable. But of course, we want to get double the value out of this card, so we want to be able to have a zombie card in our graveyard to return to our hand. Then I remembered a card called Unconventional Tactics. For two and a white, it is a sorcery. Target creature gets plus three, plus three, and gains flying until end of turn. And whenever a zombie enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay white. If you do, return Unconventional Tactics from your graveyard to your hand. At 3 CMC, it's a bit expensive, but Killian could potentially reduce this to only a single white. Then this got me thinking about a zombie tribal deck, in particular some cards such as Zombie Master, Lord of the Undead, and Cemetery Reaper. Each of these creatures has activated abilities that cost mana, and of course, if we are saving mana in one area, we can use mana in another. For example, if we were holding open two swamps for a potential use of bake into a pie and we get to the opponent on our right's end step and we didn't end up needing to use it, well, let's go ahead and dump that mana into something like a Lord of the Undead to get back a zombie. The same could be said for lands such as Volrath Stronghold or Unholy Grotto. Again, we can hold these lands open. If we don't use mana in other areas, well, let's use these to help rebuild our bold state. At this point, we are now fully committed to the zombie tribal. We can use other cards such as uh, Undead Warchief, uh, Shepherd of Rot, and Noxious Ghoul. And of course, one of, if not my favorite Magic the Gathering card is Graveborn Muse. I use her whenever able, quite frankly, in most, if not all, of my black decks. 
And now the time has come to hear your thoughts, commoners. What type of archetype would you build with Killian? Taking all of this targeted removal into account, what would be sort of the extra oomph that would allow for you to actually win the game? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. I do read and respond to most of them. I greatly enjoy a riveting discussion. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to hit that bell button. It is very, very important to hit the bell button. Until next time, cheers!